because they want to deceive you. The Muslims are already deceived. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. Go ahead. We are live. Assalamu alaikum, man. How are you? Wa alaikum as -salam. So I just had like I just like um my friend led me to your like uh yeah did you see the title of our, our video today my friend Ali say that again did you see the title of our video today our broadcast uh no not yet okay there is a there is a friend of yours a brother of yours his name is Muhammad Hijab he debated a guy his name is David Wood I don't know if you heard of that uh no okay well in this guy in his debate he said that Allah he pray for but he don't pray to do you agree with him. He prays for Allah but not to Allah. No, he said he, uh, they asked him, uh, uh, David Wood. He asked him how uh, how the Quran says that Allah and the angels they pray uh, 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 for Muhammad. The the Muslim uh, debater he said yes, Allah he pray for but not to. Do you agree that Allah he pray for? That he prayed for Muhammad. Yes. No, because how would God pray to Himself? So are you saying that he was saying a stupid thing here? Uh, like, is there a verse that you can show me where it no, says no, that? I, am, I, I, I will show you, no problem. But this is what he, this is how he explained. I, it. Yes, I do believe what he said was stupid because God can't pray to Himself. Okay, that's wonderful. So, why you think he said that? It was like just a deception, or he's lying. I mean, why? Why? I a, think, why a Muslim will say that? I think maybe it was like a mistake of words. Like he didn't mean it in that way, or maybe he was just like. Okay, another question. Like it was a mis Yeah, go ahead. In in the debate, in the debate, he said that for a thousand years. The Jews, they did not worship any other God except one God, which is supposedly Allah. Do you agree with him? Which means since Moses says until now, the Jews, they believe only in one God. Uh, to be honest, I'm not too knowledgeable on the subject. I'm not sure. Mm. But what do you think about that? Let us say you're not knowledgeable, but what do you think? Did the Jews worship any other God uh, beside the God which the Torah instructed them to worship or only they worship others? <laughs> Uh, I think if the like if they were like truthful Jews and like they were obviously if you're like religious you would follow the way of your book right so right so the book uh, if the, the book of the Jews never taught them to worship anyone except one God correct uh, I believe so yeah okay so that's mean the Quran is a lie because the Quran in chapter nine verse number thirty it says that the Jews worship a guy his name is Uzair. Uh give me a sec I have I have one right here let me just double check that. You said chapter 9 verse what? 30. Uh I don't know if this is right. I just searched it up so it would be quicker, but it says the Jews said that Ezra is the son of God and the Christians said the Messiah is the son of God. Mm. <laughs> and that this, uh, in with this statement, so you, but a second they ago, imitate those who disbelieve before them, may Allah destroy them. Yeah, but a, sec a second ago you told me you believe that Jews worship only one God and their book instructed them to worship only one God. So you agreed with, uh, with this guy, Muhammad Hijab. So now are you going to take back your, your words? But them saying that Isra is the son of Allah doesn't mean that they were worshipping him, right? It doesn't say that they are worshipping him in it. When, when it just says no, that they said he's the son of God. No, my friend. No, my friend. Here we go. Read the verse after it. Verse number 31. It says clearly they worshipped in them. They trade them as God beside God. Okay, sorry, because you said verse 30, right? So that's what yeah. I read. Okay, no, 31. no, because when they say the son of God, that's mean. Because even your God, Allah, he says, I, you know, if Allah have, no, uh, have a son, uh, say you have no problem to worship that son. Uh, no, well, God doesn't have any sons, right? God wasn't birthed. My friend, or doesn't my, give birth. my, my friend, no problem. But if Allah have a son, you Muslims have no problem to worship him, correct? If if for some if you have a reason, son, if you God have a son, actually had a, I yes, I believe, like I guess so. All right, okay. So now, when the, when the Quran says that the Jews worship their rabbis and worship a guy, his name is Uzair, and you said to me that there is nowhere the Jews in their book worship other God. That's mean the Quran is lying. No, but where does it say that? The verse it in the front of you. It, the verse you let me read says that he's just the son mm. of God. That's what they said. It, it, okay. didn't, it never said they worshipped. Do, do you know Arabic, Ali? Yeah. Okay. اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أرباب من دون الله. Translate. I'm. I do not. I did not understand that. I know, like. You just said you know Arabic. Arabic. 
You just said you I know, know Arabic. I know Lebanese Arabic. So what does that mean? So I never heard. I, of I, I don't Lebanese. like. I'm not too well in Fusha. Arabic. Okay. Do you know what Arbaban mean? Rab. What no. Rab? What Rab mean? Oh God. Arbaban God. Okay. means like God. So they took their 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 monks and their uh, uh, rabbi as gods. Do you see it? I'm showing it to you. Wait, the screen. What, that's the verse 31. You said. Yeah, 31. Yes. So they took their they took their monks and their rabbis as gods. Okay, I see that right now. Okay, so now it's confirmed that they worship gods beside Allah, right? But right there it says, and they were com not they were not commanded except to worship one god. Right? No after. problem, no problem. But still, there is no deity except. Okay, no problem. But it says clearly that the Jews worship other gods, correct? It says that okay. they did. Yes. All right. But you said to me five minutes ago. That you believe that the Jews were really worshiping only one God, so the Quran here is lying because how the Quran, well, how you say well, to no. me that Jews worship only one God, and now the Quran saying they worship many gods, because it said the Jews, right? It didn't say every Jews was. No, it says so every Jews wait, because when you, say, when, 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 when you say when you say no question. no hold on hold on when you say the Jews, is, okay, does it say in the Quran the, the Jews mean one Jew or two Jew or five Jews? When you say the Jews, it's mean the Jews. When you say the Nasara, you mean Nasara, all of them. This is why no, it doesn't mean all of them. Then, then you have to say then some of the Jews. Do Allah know how to speak Arabic? It says the Jews. They obviously the Jews. Obviously. My friend, read with me. Does it say and the Jews say the Jews? Does it say that? But like like what do you expect it to say and 263 Jews? Does it no want to be if, that if it is some you don't say all the all the you know you, you name that cult. If, if let us say there is someone who believed that Jesus is not God. And he claimed that he is a Christian. I will call him as an example, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. He have a name. He have okay. a, his cult have a name. So when you say the Jews, it's mean those who believe in Musa. This is what the Quran teach. Those who follow Musa are called the Jews. All right. So those who follow Musa, all of them, the Jews, no exception. He did not say some a few, some of them, the Jews and the Christian, all the Christians, no exception. So all the Jews believe in a guy. His name is Uzair. All the Jews believe in a, in a person his name is the Messiah and both of them they worship them and they believe that they are the son of Allah and then in the top of that they took rabbis and their monks as gods but could that not be just the sinners of the Jews my friend all my, my friend hold on when we say what's with the sinner okay are you is the Jews now the, the Jews today are they going to go to heaven I don't believe so why they will not go to heaven then because the way i like the way it is is basically like re religion isn't like it's not a it's kind of a continuation of each other hmm. so basically not every religion but hmm. jews came first then the christians then the muslims so jesus came down Nabi isa came down hmm. and he he came down from where <laughs> Well, like you know what I mean, like like he was he was obviously birth like the virgin birth. But what I'm trying to say is yeah, but he came God down from where? When him, you say he came down, he came down from where? I'm saying uh, sorry, I used wrong words. No, no, you don't use the wrong word. You, you, no, you no, use like, the correct word. No, I, Jesus, he came down. No, no, no. This is your intention. It says in the Quran. Are you against the Quran? No. Okay. The Quran says that Jesus came down. Are you sure? Do you want me to show you? Uh sure. What what okay. surah? Isn't it, isn't it the Quran says that Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary? Al uh, not, do you know what surah it's in? Okay, let me show you. Hmm. We can go to chapter 4, verse number 71. And it says the following. One second. It says, "Oh, you who have believed, take forth, take your precaution, and either go forth in companies or go or go forth altogether." Hmm. What is that? Continue. What is that? Surah four, seventy-one. One seventy-one. Oh, one set. Sorry about that. What translation you are reading from? Uh, Quran.com. Yeah, but what? Who is the translator? Do you know? Uh, stay here. Give me one second. It just says Sahih International. Mm, okay. So it says, "O people of the Scripture, do not commit excess in your religion, 
or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah and his word, which he directed to Mary and so. Okay, so, so Jesus was a word of God, right? Yes. Okay, where was the word of God? Okay, where, where was the word of God? Where is the word of God located before it came down to Mary? Uh, with God. Okay, and where is God? In heaven. Okay, so Jesus was in heaven before he come down to earth as a word of God, correct? I guess. Okay, I what, guess. was Muhammad a word of God in heaven? Uh, I don't think so, no. No. So here we confirm, me and you, we agree, that Jesus the Christ was the word of God and then he came down to earth. So he is exists before he became a man as a word of God, correct? Uh Okay, I read the whole verse. It does it does say that he's God's word. Right. We already agree on that. So Jesus was the word of God, which was with God, and then he sent it down to earth. And Jesus means that he was a word before he became a man. Do you agree? Yes, but it does also say he was but a messenger. No problem. So the word of God became a messenger. Is that correct? Which means became a man. Well, the word of God was put into a messenger, basically. No, the word of God, no, given to Mary, not into a messenger. The word of God was given to who? To Mary, correct? Well, it says the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah and his word, which he directed to Mary. Okay, so the word came down to who? To Mary. So Mary, Mary, she received the word of God, which is Jesus later became born as a man, correct? No, but you're taking it wrong, right? Because he says he was but a messenger of Allah. No problem, no problem, word. my friend. Take it easy, take it easy. Don't be nervous. He is the messenger <laughs> of Allah. He is the messenger of Allah, no problem. Okay. But he is the who he was the word of God who sent no, to but Mary. He says and his word of God, right? Which yeah. means and which means he was put in later on. Like his word was added. No, okay. Jesus became a messenger before he became uh, a word, or he was a word first. Well, it says messenger first, right? So I'm assuming that's what it meant first. So he was a messenger before he was exist. He was a messenger was when God put him into Mary. Okay, no. So he was a man exist already. So uh, your God Allah, he put a man inside Mary. Well, no, because obviously when God put him in there, he already had his plan for him, right? He already planned okay. for Jesus to be what the Allah, messenger. What, what Allah he sent to Mary? He sent a word, correct? Like through a messenger, yes. This is not the question, my friend. The messenger is supposedly, you know, what, what do you mean, messenger? Like he did, he didn't, he didn't send his word. Hmm. He sent his word. He sent a messenger and his word. No, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. Don't be confused. Don't confuse. Don't confuse. The the no, verse, the, the verse. Jesus was my friend, my friend. The, the verse, the verse here confirmed that Jesus is a messenger, and he is the word of God, and he is a spirit proceeding from God. Is that correct? It's confirmed three things about Jesus that he is a spirit of God proceeding from God he is the word and he is a messenger which means he's a man do you agree with that sorry say that again you you like the Quran the Quran confirmed that Jesus was a man and he Who was, was given God's word no he is the word of God not giving word God the word of God he is the word and his word no, he says he gave Mary a messenger and his word. My friend, he did not give Mary a messenger. Where it says that? Uh, I, like, I don't know if the translation is correct, but it says... Read it. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah and his word, which he directed to Mary. Okay, so he did not give Mary the messenger. He gave Mary the word. The word is directed to Mary, not the messenger. No, but he says, but a messenger of Allah and his word. So are you saying that Allah, he sent the messenger to Mary, only to Mary, to follow him? That's it? He is a messenger to Mary? No, he said he said he sent the messenger and his word. My friend, okay, the messenger was sent to who? To the, to, the, to, the, to the Jews or only to Mary? To Mary. Only to Mary? 
No, to birth them. Like, like he sent it to Mary, as in Mary is the one who's supposed to be. Okay, no problem. So, but what was I asked you from the beginning? Before Jesus was a, became a messenger, he was what? I said to you, Jesus is the word of God. The word of God was sent from where? You said from heaven. So Jesus, when he was in heaven, he was a word and he was a man in the same time? But Jesus isn't the word of God alone. He's My friend, I'm asking you, don't, don't mix things. No, hold on. No, he is his word. Not giving. Read it. And his word. Not giving his word. His, and he is his word. It doesn't say, and he is giving his word and his word. He's telling you who is Jesus. Read really carefully. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was a messenger of Allah and his word. So he was what? He was a messenger and he was the word of Allah. And then, which best word in Mary, which means the word. And then a spirit proceeding from him. So Jesus is a spirit. He's a word. He's a man at the same time. Now, the word of Allah, which Allah he sent down to Mary was with God and then the word sent to Mary and Mary get a breath in it she delivered a man that his name is Jesus do you agree with that yes okay, thank you and he is a spirit of of Allah in the same time now here we have a problem he's not the spirit he's the word no it says and the spirit read it my friend it says and the spirit read it and the spirit proceeding from him Correct. He says, and a soul, not and his soul. My my friend, and the soul proceeding from him. But by the way, it doesn't say a soul. It says ruh or minhu, spirit. Okay. Uh, this, like I'm reading the translated version. Yeah, no problem. This is why the word ruh, ruh, the only one the Muslims they call him ruh Allah is Jesus. Is that correct? You heard you heard this before that Jesus ruh Allah. Uh, uh, like I have personally, but like I, I'm gonna take your word for it. Yeah, so you can check Ruhullah, and this is recorded. People will laugh at me if I'm lying. So Jesus is the spirit of Allah. Why Jesus is called the spirit of Allah, not Adam, not Muhammad, not Ibrahim? Why he is the word of Allah? I ask you, is Muhammad the word of Allah? You said no. So why why Jesus is the word of Allah, but Muhammad is not the word of Allah? Because Jesus is the Messiah. Okay, that's wonderful. Why is why is that? I mean, so what is special about the Messiah? So he is the word of God, but Muhammad not the word of God. Which one is better? The one who is the word of God or the one who is not the word of God? I'm not here to debate who's better, right? It doesn't like like it doesn't matter. We are not debating, better. my friend. What we are trying to discuss. They're both legitimate prophets. No, of God. no, no, my friend, hold on. We are not debating now. We are trying to to understand. When you say to me that Jesus is the word of God and Muhammad is not the word of God, so who is higher? The one who is the word of God or the one who is just born of a woman and a man? He is not. A word of God. Which one is the better for them? I, it depends on God, right? It's His choice. Okay, no problem. On, no problem. But I'm asking Muhammad, you. Right? I'm asking you. Is the word of God holy? I would assume so. Yes. Okay. So, if Jesus is the word of God and the word of God is holy, how Jesus can be uh, just a man yet He is holy in Islam? Because prophets are holy, aren't they? Are, are prophets not holy? No, prophets are not holy. Your prophet is a big time sinner, and the Quran confirmed that. Do you want to show you? I, I I'm not saying prophets did not sin, but I'm saying them being messengers. No, Jesus never sinned. Jesus, Jesus never, Jesus never sinned. Muhammad, he is a big time, big time sinner. So Jesus did sin. Where? Show me the verse. When uh, it was actually when he was a Jew. Give me one sec. I'll show he you. He was a Jew. When he was a like, Jew. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Show me the verse. Where? One moment. Guys, get your pen. Take a note. When Jesus was a Jew, he commits sin. Uh, he violated Levitical law, mm. which all Jews are under. Jews are under, mm. and it says here that the verse where it says that is Ezekiel forty-four mm. twenty-five to twenty-seven. Mm. Okay, but you see, because Christ, uh, the Christian, believed that Jesus is God, 
So he is the one who made the law and he is not violating my friend and Jesus said to them that the Sabbath is made for the man not the man made for the Sabbath so Jesus said in the same time it been said to you but I say to you because he is the one who made the law for them anyway so when you say that he broke the law that is very funny of you as an example you just said to me that Sabbath Sabbath if you break it you became a sinner is that correct I didn't say that this is what you are saying I don't know what you are saying I'm saying that he broke he sinned what, what he said how, how he sent what he said what the sin he did tell me what does say that again what the sin he did there where it says he sinned what he did what did what did he what, touched what, the body of a dead woman oh this is a sin so in, in, uh, the, in, under, in, in that under Levitical law it okay is hold on hold on hold on okay okay when Jesus he touched a body of a, of a woman can you show me the verse uh, it says Ezekiel 44 25 no, no. And Jesus he, he touched in uh, the woman in Ezekiel Where Jesus he touched the dead body of uh, the dead woman where he touched her in Ezekiel It says Ezekiel 44 25 to 27 So Ezekiel was speaking about Jesus that he touched a woman there uh, Let me I don't know I didn't read the verse personally I'll check it right now mm. Okay. My friend, stop using you know reading Islamic stupid website. They are fooling you. There's no such a thing, because Jesus is not in Ezekiel. There is you know Jesus. Is, okay, no, no, no. In Ezekiel, it says hmm. that you can't defile yourself by going near a dead person. Hmm. Hmm. And so let me just try to find. Hmm. Okay, my friend, when you find it later, you can let me know. However, the Quran, uh, uh, the Quran says that Jesus never commits sin. Can you read for me chapter uh, chapter 19, verse 19? Uh, surah 19, verse 19. Mm -hmm. He said, I am the I am only the messenger of your Lord to give you news of a pure boy. Okay. Well, what the pure mean? Uh pure like un like not like not like unsinned, I guess. Okay, so he is uh, he is a pure. The Quran witness that he is a pure, correct? A pure boy. Like so when he was young, he was pure. No, yes. my friend, because Jesus is born as a messenger right away. In the creator, he started talking as a messenger, not like your prophet. He waited 40 years. And then an angel comes to squeeze him like a ketchup. So Jesus in the creator, in the creator, he is speaking as a messenger. So here it says that he is a holy son. Okay, can I ask you a question? Hmm. In Matthew 3 11, right? Hmm. When John the Baptist is talking, he says, I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me comes one who is more powerful than I, hmm. whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. Hmm. Is that right? And who do you think he's talking about? What do you think? Who is that? I believe I, I believe it was a prophet other than Jesus. Who is that? I'm not sure. Maybe Muhammad. Okay. Why Muhammad then do, do don't do baptism? He doesn't say he will baptize you. No, no, he said the one who come after me, he would do it. He would do the same, but he would baptize. You know, I did baptize by water, but the one who come after me, he would baptize by the spirit. So okay, yeah, yeah, I just read the Holy Spirit yeah. and fire. So why Muhammad don't baptize then? I didn't say it was Muhammad for sure. I'm saying it's prophet. Ah, okay, than... okay, that is Jesus, my friend. Same time. But let, if it let, was Jesus, let us focus, said, we'll my, fr my friend. Him, right? let, let us focus. Let us focus. Okay, let us focus. Okay. First of all, first of all, the Quran confirmed that Jesus is holy, and there's nowhere in the Quran that says that Jesus is not. And I challenge you to show me. Secondly. Where is Jesus right now, according to Islam? 
up like with God. Okay, do you think someone is not holy will be with, with God now? Uh, obviously not. Okay, so Jesus is holy. Obviously, he is with God right now. This is why he is, must be holy because he's, to be qualified to be with God, you must be holy. Okay, where is Muhammad right now? In Jannah. Muhammad in Jannah? Yeah. I thought he's dead. Well, like, where do you go after you die? Oh, dead. But there is a day of resurrection. You don't go right away to Jannah. You go. First of all, when you go, when you die, according to Islam, there's two angels who will come to you in the grave and they will have a big hammer and they will hit you on your head. And they will ask you three questions. Who is this guy? The first question they will always say to you, who is your God? You say Allah, they will not hit you. If you say Jesus, they will hit you with the hammer. Then they will ask you a second question. Uh, 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 who is this guy? They will show you the picture of our Prophet Muhammad. If you do not recognize him, they will hit you again. So no, they, they say, who is your prophet? Who is your prophet? You say Muhammad, and they will show you the picture, right? Okay. So you know the story. Okay. So you're a prophet. When he went to the grave, did the angel ask him the same questions, hit him with the hammer? I guess not. No. Hmm. Okay, that would be funny, by the way, to ask him who is this guy because he is this guy, right? Obviously, yeah. Okay. Now let me ask you here: How you are dead, but dead? The, the the angel asking you three questions. What do you mean? Well, you are dead. How the angels are talking to you soul, and be and, and, Okay. So uh, uh, you are, but they will hit you. They will hit your spirit, or they will hit you with your head because they have a hammer with them. Well, it would like they're their angels, right? So, like, obviously, it goes beyond physical, it's spiritual. I know, but uh, they will hit your spirit or they will hit your body with the hammer. Why do they have a hammer with them? I'm not sure if they would hit your spirit or body. I like, I guess, your spirit. All right, no problem. Let, let, let us go back to that topic. So, we agree that Jesus is holy and Muhammad is in the grave, and there's nowhere no, no Muslim believe. I never heard that Muslim believe that Muhammad is in heaven. Muhammad, he says, I will be the first one to be resurrected in the judgment day, and I can show you the hadith. Yeah, but what you don't, but like this, what you don't get to God, there is no future, there is no past, there is no present, right? What do you mean? Like to God, so like, like it doesn't, God, it doesn't right matter now, right now. Where is Muhammad right now? Where is Muhammad? Is he in heaven or he is in the grave? He's in the to grave, to us or to God? To us, no, to you, to you, to us. There's nothing so good to God and to us. No, because God is he where he time, is? Right? No, no, where he is there now. There is no future for God. There is no past. My so friend, right now, this is not about the future. This is not about past. Where is Muhammad now? He is in the grave. And that's why Muhammad he says, "In the day of resurrection, I will be the first one to be resurrected." Okay, yeah. So, what's your point with this? Okay, so why Jesus is in heaven and Muhammad is in the grave? Because Jesus is going to come back on the day of judgment. Why Jesus will come back? Uh, like to start the day of judgment. Jesus will start the day of judgment. Why? He have the key. Him and uh, not him alone, though, right? Him and Adam. Mm hmm. Adam, where you get this from? I never heard this before. I want to learn from you. Where you get Adam from? What Adam? I thought Adam he retired. He's dead already. Same as Muhammad. If Muhammad say that the first one will be resurrected is him, which means Adam cannot be exist, and Jesus is still alive, so it's only Jesus. There's nobody. All mankind they are not in heaven. Only Jesus in heaven. Correct? Wait, say that again. All people are dead in the grave or in the earth, except Jesus is in heaven. Is that correct? Uh, I'm not sure to be honest. What do you mean not sure? I don't know. A second ago, you agree with me. Agree about what? About Muhammad being in the grave. Okay, so are you saying there's uh, Muhammad in the grave, but the rest of the mankind they are in heaven now? Did I, I didn't say that, right? Okay, so Muhammad I'm asking you if there is any other person according to Islam right now is in heaven with Allah beside Jesus? I believe, yeah, Adam would be up there. But Adam is dead, I thought. What are you Where does it say Adam died? Mm -hmm. you, so you must believe that Allah he took Adam to heaven too? No, I'm asking you where it says Adam died. Hmm, that's a good question. Hmm, where it says Adam died. Hmm, the Quran did not say that Adam died. That's a problem. So when the flood of Noah happened, you think Adam was in the ship with his son Noah?
uh, I don't know, but like, like it doesn't say that. Where does it say Adam died? Right? Like, like, can you show me? My friend, the flood of Noah. There is no human being left except Noah and his family, and that's what the Quran confirmed. So either you are saying to me that the Quran is lying. Wait. So is Noah the son of Adam? Well, isn't it who, that Noah is the son of who? I'm asking you, is Noah the son of Adam? Because you I said. I don't know. I heard that he is the son of Trump, maybe. I don't know. What do you think Noah is mean? Who's who's Noah? No, but that's what you said like like 30 seconds ago. Yeah. You said, do you believe he was on the boat with his son Noah? No, I am that's asking you. you. Said, right? No, I am saying to you, you said to me that Adam, is Adam still alive? I said to you, but don't you believe in the flood of Noah, which there's no human being is still alive except him and his family? So if Adam is still alive, then he should be in the ship with Noah. Is that correct? No, because God could have could have wrote if Jesus was on the earth right now and the flood of Noah happened, my would friend, Jesus die? No, he wouldn't because he's with God, right? My friend, Jesus in heaven. I'm asking you about Adam. Adam is in earth, not in heaven. When the flood of Noah happened, where is was Adam? If he is alive, according to you, because you are trying to say to me, Adam was alive. Okay, the flood of Noah came. Was Adam with Noah in the ship or he was dead already? I don't know. It, like, I don't know. Hmm. Well, here we go. The Quran in front of us and Noah, the story in the Quran says that he said, Oh Lord, my family and my son, where is his dad? Where is his, uh, you know, where is, where is, uh, there's no mission. I mean, uh, let us say I am born of Adam and Adam is our father. So he's my dad. He's my father. He's our first father. Okay. Where is the, who is with Noah except his family? His wife and his, even his son, he could not reach according to the Quran. So, you are making fictions here. You're trying to say, okay, where you know Adam was in heaven, and I don't know where he got this from. This is here we got a story in the front of you. You know, there's only Noah, there's nobody left. Noah and his family in the ship, and the rest of mankind, they were killed by the flood. Do you agree with the story, or this is a fiction story? No, that's true. Okay, like Noah's flood is true. All right. So Adam was not there. Now let me ask you, who is the one who created Noah? God. Hmm. God created Noah. That's a good. Hmm. What if I show you that the one who created Noah is Jesus? Where can you show me that? Hmm. But I'm asking you, if I show you that, what you will do? Uh, I don't know. I guess I won't know till I see it, right? Yeah, but I mean, uh, I'm willing to show you things, but I want in return to tell me what you think of that. Because you just said to me, and everybody heard you, that the one who created Noah is God. Well, yeah, technically we're all created by God, right? Okay, but who created Noah? God. So if we show you who created Noah, you have to believe that he is God. Do you agree? Well, it depends, right? In what context? context. My friend, I, there's no context. It's it, it, the one who created Noah. He must be God. Why are you afraid now? Are you? Do you think there's someone else created Noah beside God? I mean, come are on. your wait? Are your parents God? No, no, I'm not talking. My parents is not. No, no, I'm at. Wait, I'm at. Just answer my question. Are your parents God? Okay, let me ask you. Is Jesus the the parent of Noah? What just can you answer me? Uh, no, my parents are not God. Okay, so do you see what I mean by when I say in what context? Because mm. technically, your parents created you. Am I no, right? They did not create me. My parents simply a God, He gave a human being ability to reproduction, but they are not really exactly creators. the ability. Okay. So, the yeah. ability, but to this is not this is not life. this is not what I am saying. Who is the one who created Noah? Do you, do you understand why I asked you? In what my context? friend, I'm asking you clearly who is the one who created Noah? In what context? You're in the context of right? a creation of Noah, not his father, not his mother. God. God. Thank you very much. Here we go. We go here. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. Tafsir al Qurtubi. A Jamir Ahkam al Quran. The chapter of Hood. Volume number nine. All right. 
and this is page let us go down do you see a screen with me page what do you see the screen uh, no it just says debate TV no no look in the YouTube I have my YouTube on we are in YouTube you know that right let me see the link if you don't have it open just be sure please that you mute you mute YouTube so we wouldn't have double voice go there Okay, I'm on you right now. How do you mute YouTube? You just mute the speaker when you open it. Click at the speaker, what do you mute? Oh. Am I double talking right now or can you hear me like fine? No, I hear you fine. Okay, go ahead. All right. Read with me in the screen. It says here, uh, they are talking about the ship of Noah, and this is why we mentioned, this is why you know, I wanted to share this with you. وقال الحسن البصري إن طول السفينة ألف ذراع Hassan al-Basri, he said that the length of the ship of Noah is 1,000 arm and width of it is 200, oh, sorry, 1,000 and 200 arm. And the width of it is 600 arm. And then, he continue. وَرُوِيَا عَنْ عَلِي بِنْ زَيْدَ عَنْ يُوسِفْ بِنْ مَهْرَانِ عَنْ إِبْنِ عَبَّاسِ And reported from Ali bin Zayd and Yusuf and Mahran from Ibn Abbas, he said that the apostle of Isa, they said to him, if you, uh, uh, if you can bring us a man who witnessed that flood of Noah, can you bring us a man who witnessed that? So he can tell us about the flood of Noah. So Jesus took them until he arrived to a small hill of sand. And then he grabbed the sand in his hand. And then he said to them, do you know what is this? <clears throat> They said, Allah and his messenger knows best. He said, this is the heel of Ham, the son of Noah. And then he hit the hill by his stick or staff. And he said, come out, come out. And then the son of Noah, Ham, he came out from the sand and he was taking the sand from his head and he was a young man so Isa he said to him did you die like this the man he says no but I did die when I was young but I am I thought now it is the judgment day and this is why I have a gray hair because he thought it's judgment day and then they said he said to him, tell us about the ship of Noah. He said it was 1,000 arm and 200 arm. And the, the width of it is 600 arms. And it has three floors. One for the animals, one for the beast, and one for the human, and one for the birds. Here, what we see, the one who created the son of Noah is Jesus. How do you explain that? Uh, I think this hadith is false because in it right back there you said that he said that there was three floors but then you named four so obviously there's like some uh, errors in it right no it doesn't say that my friend here we go you read it okay here we go okay yeah. it says it uh, an Ibn Abbas let us see here uh, let us go back uh, where we were okay well, and uh, have a uh, three three levels one for the animals and one for the birds and one for the uh, for the for the human and uh, and on one level there, there's a bird you are right there's a there's a, a four level but this is i think this is the one maybe in the top the last one which is not considered as a level so there's a three uh, three, uh, three floors on top of each other and every floor one is the animals they are separated because they might eat each other or kill each other 
one for the animals one for the beast and one for the human and the last one which is the surface of the ship where the bird are flying at the top that's what it's saying now there's no way it says that this is a weak hadith or something like this no but before but before you were telling me about accuracy right like when he said jews that he meant all jews and i said that he probably doesn't isn't talking about all jews but you said he said jews which means all jews right so you're talking about accuracy of speech so if he said there are three floors and then he named four different sections mm -hmm. let us say if you want to say there's a mistake i mean you muslims you muslims make mistakes who care i mean this is a stupid story i don't believe in it anyway I believe this is a stupid donkey story. I don't believe in anything of this. But it's what so you're going to say. Why are you showing me? If, like, because if this is what you have. This is what you believe. This is not. This is. And I am not the donkey who believe in this. It's you, Muslims, who believe in this. So I'm showing you what is in your book. Now I'm asking you. I'm asking you. So what are you being disrespectful? How? Of, no, right? it's your because you're saying to me as if it's my mistake. Here we go. This is Wait, a story. Does God does God tell you to be disrespectful towards other religions? Yes, my friend. God told me because your God Himself, He said that the worst of the creatures oh, are the Christians. So God, wait, so God talked to you like personally? Like what else did He say? Yes, about? yes. God, He talked to me personally. Jesus, He said yeah, yeah, that the, the liars, the liars are the sons of the vi vipers, and your God, Allah Himself, He said that the Christians and the Jews are pigs and monkeys, and they are the worst of the creatures. So how now you became sensitive? How come you get not offended from Allah saying to us that we are the worst of the creatures and we are in, ah. we, we are najis and we are kufar? Okay. Mm. What do you think? Is it okay? Okay, listen. Now, what do you say about Jesus creating the sons of Noah? Are you there? He didn't create the son of Noah, right? He brought him back because like, okay. the son of Noah was already alive. All right, guys, did he say he brought him back? Did you say he brought him back? Okay, isn't it the Quran says that Allah is the one who brought people back? Oh, where does it say? Like, well, I know Allah can do it, but where does it say that he's the only one? Because okay. his prophets were allowed to do miracles, right? Chapter 36, verse number 78. Who is the one who bring it from the origin? Only Allah. Who is the one who created the bones and bring it back from death? Allah, only Allah. Verse number 79 says, Say, I will give you them life who created them for the first time. So the one who created them first time is the one who will give them life again, no one else. قُلْ يُحْيِيهَا الَّذِي أَنْشَأَهَا أَوَّلَ مَرَّةً وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ خَلْقٍ عَلِيمٍ Say, he the one who created them first he is the one who created them again only he so how it, jesus it doesn't say only he does it it says he give them say, say they are either, asking right? who is the one my friend him? yes only him only him are you so are you so now are you agreeing that jesus and allah both they can bring people from death are I'm you saying that? that god allowed his prophets to create hmm. miracles okay did he not okay read with me the verse does it say there is two there or it says only he do you see the word he Yes, it says he. Okay, he who? He's Jesus or he Allah? It says he who created the heavens and earth, able to create the likes of them, yes. Hmm. So who is that? He. He is God. Okay, and Jesus now, he brought from the ground a dust, a man who is a dust. He is from the sons of Noah. And he made him alive again. And a second ago, I said to you, who is the one who will bring them? You said God. And now this is confirmed in this verse. Now, if Jesus is not God, how he bring them back from death? If only the, the verse saying clearly, it is he who created them first time, it is he who bring them second time. It, it says it is he who is able to. It doesn't say it's he who brings Thank them. you. It's he who is able, so no one else is able except he. But it doesn't say that, right? It says he is able. Does it say no one else is? So you are saying I, I want I want you to confirm that to me. Are you saying you Muslims believe that there is one more able to create or to bring people from death beside Allah? No, I'm saying God allowed His prophets to. My friend, the, the second He allowed Him, miracles. okay, if He allowed Him, that's mean He is able. Do you agree with that? Because if Allah allowed me to do that, it's mean I am being able, correct? Yes. Okay. So now you believe that there's two people or two persons able to bring people from death, Allah and Jesus. Well, no, Jesus is only able to if Allah allows it. Okay, but you just said he allowed him already, right? He allowed him that one time, right? One time only? I don't know how many times he did it, but I'm saying in that specific instance, he allowed him. Ah, uh, okay. You know, 
when when you say to me that Allah he allowed Jesus to bring people from death and the Quran says it is he who created them first time he is the one who bring them second time that is a contradiction because no, 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 no. okay where, where here it says there is other it one says hmm. is not he who created the heavens and earth able to create the likes of them yes the like he is the knowing creator the like yeah it literally says the likes of them what the like the likes like no it doesn't say that this is a big fat lie it says call you, you speak Arabic I heard you speaking to your mother in Arabic call you I, yeah. Wait, what, which ayah is this verse number 79 chapter 36 okay go ahead call you here say will we'll resurrected the one who created it first time not like this is not what I'm reading man what are you reading that's the same verse. Continue the verse. That's not the whole verse. Okay, but this is read with me. This is okay. Read with me. Qul ladi marra. What does that mean? He's able to give them life that he did, like when he did it the first time. Okay, give life to what? Yuhiha, yuhiha, to itself. Bring it back to life. It, 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 it what? It, the one who created first time, right? So speaking about the same object, he created first time and it died, and now he bring it die again to life, correct? Correct. He's okay. the one who is able to. Yeah. All right. So the verse confirmed that it is he who can do that. It doesn't say he and Jesus. Correct. Correct. Okay. It doesn't say. No. I want you to show correct? me. I want you to show me in the Quran. Wait, Tommy. Does it say only he? Obviously, it says he. That's it. They are asking who is the one who can bring people from death. The answer is say it is he, the one who created yeah, right. the first now time. It's talking about mankind, right? It says he will give them life. Who produced them first time? Yeah. So who is the one who will give them life? Is the one who produced them first time? Thank you very much. You make it easy for me. Who is the one who will give them life? The one who produced them first time. Is Jesus the one who produced them first time? No, it was God. Okay. So how would Jesus bring Noah children from death? Because God allowed it. But here it says that the one who created them first time is the one who will bring them back from death, not someone else. But like you're still not understanding what I'm saying. I'm saying it doesn't say it's only him, though, right? It's My like friend, no, it says only him because it says that the one who created them first time is the one who will bring them second time. But what is it talking about in this in this chapter? Is, is, is they are asking who is the one? one? My friend, that chapter is saying that says they are saying to you who is the one who can bring people from I death. But you can't take it out of context. So I am not okay. Let us make an agreement. Let us make an okay. Let us make an agreement. Which is interpretation you like me to show you in the screen? No, no, this is what you're not understanding. What my I'm friend, I don't understand. My friend, I no, am I am you, slow. No, my friend, you're, not, no. you're just talking, right? You're not listening to what I'm saying. My friend, no, no, no. Let us let us solve Listen the problem. Listen to what I'm saying and respond to let what us, I'm saying. Uh, let us serve the problem. What interpretation would you like me to read for you? I'm not talking about interpretation. Why not? Why not? Is, is the Muslim are, are you reading. saying to me the Muslim scholars they get it wrong Does too? Does the context not matter? My friend, the context is in the interpretation. Is the Muslim scholars no, too? No, no, no. The context. The context. Like, what is the context? You look at one. Eye why? And why you context, don't want the interpretation? Okay. What? Why you don't want the interpretation? What's the problem? What are you scared because of? Because it doesn't matter what the interpretation is if you take it out of context. So are you saying the scholars of Islam they are taken out of context too? I'm saying you are by not. Giving the whole story this way, my friend. Is this is why I'm this saying, instance, this is why I'm saying, let in, us see the interpretation by the scholars to see what it says. I understand what the ayah says, but you have to take the whole thing. Into okay, you said to me, your Arabic is broken and you do not know what it's saying, and now suddenly you became a scholar, and suddenly you don't want any scholar to explain it to you. Why? What happened? I'm telling you, I understand what. The, okay, just, what's wrong look, with the look, scholars? Listen, okay, listen, let me listen, ask you: Are you saying the scholars? They are, are you saying? Again, are you saying? Not, okay, look, look, I am asking you. Be honest. Are you saying the responded. scholars are liars? Are you saying the scholars are liars, and they are taking it out of context? Just listen to what I'm asking you and answer my question. I am. Don't I am around, asking right? you too. I'm no, asking listen, you. Okay, give me the context, man. Give me the context. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. Give me right the context. Now, context. Read the holy chapter. Read about... the holy chapter. Go ahead. Give me the context. Go. I'm listening. Look, you won't even let me talk, right? Go ahead. I'm listening. In this specific instance, it's talking about the day of judgment. Am I right? Is it? It is. So I'm. So I'm right, right? Mm -hmm. So can we agree on that? I don't know. Does it say that? Because you are the one who says if it doesn't say that, it's not. It's, you are the one. I mean, I'm using your logic. 
You are the one who said, does it say only? It doesn't say only. So as long as it doesn't say only, it means it's not only. So now you are saying to me, this one, it says this is about the judgment day. Does it say the judgment day? You have to read the whole surah to understand, right? Read the whole surah. Go, go, go. Read the whole surah. Read. Go ahead. Read. Show me the judgment day in the surah. Go ahead. I'm listening. You want me to read the whole surah? Why not? I mean, what's wrong with you? You are the one saying to me, isn't it this is about the judgment day? The verse, when I showed you the verse, you said to me, does the verse say the word only? Aren't you the can one I who said to me? Question? Can I take my, one my... sentence out of, wait, wait, can I take one sentence? Okay, see, here we go. A second ago, a second ago, you, 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 made, you made the condition, as long as it doesn't say only, it means it's not only. It now you are doing the you are doing you the opposite game. Okay. Okay, my friend. Let saying. us say in the judgment day. Let us say for the sake of argument, this is a judgment day. No problem. But it says it clearly that the one who created them first time is the one who bring them back to life. No one else. On judgment day, it will be God who brings them back to life. Yes. Okay, my friend. My friend. Only in judgment when day. When Jesus brought Noah's son. Was okay, hold on. Day? Okay, let me ask you. So, are you saying only in judgment day people they will come back to life? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying in that surah, it's it's in that specific ayah, that context it's speaking about. Hmm. Is it saying on the day of judgment, the one who created them will be the one to bring them back? Hmm. So uh, you are saying to me, Jesus will not be able to do creation again in the judgment day. Only now he can. Jesus didn't create the son. He brought him back. No, to bring back somebody is a creation because you have to put his flesh together. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so are you saying that Jesus will create a human being only in this in this time? Where it says that in the Quran, show me. I'm going by your logic. It's you who said to me, don't things out of contact, correct? Okay, show me where Anyways, in your books. That what you showed me wasn't even in the Quran, right? It was in a hadith, am I right? No problem, but I can show you from the Quran that Jesus, he resurrects people from death too. Don't you know that the Quran says that too? Could you tell me what surah? Oh boy, oh. like, like, uh, you know, uh, uh. <laughs> all right, chapter 3, verse number 49. It says that Jesus he said to them, I do the following to you, I can make from the clay a bird, a figure of a bird, and I breathe into it. That is a creation, he make a bird from the clay. He breathed into it, it became alive, and the bird fly. By permission of Allah, it doesn't says. matter. Doesn't matter. It does matter. It says, by my permission friend, of my Allah. friend, my friend. You, when you, when I say I, it's mean I, correct? Yes, it, but it's, but he says by permission. My friend, my friend, my friend. Let us say by permission of Allah. But who is the one who did the breathing? Allah or Jesus? Okay. What the breathing mean? When when Jesus breathed into the bird, what does that mean? He gave it life. Okay, so the, the the life is given, created by the breed of Jesus. How that Jesus can do? Because God allowed him. It literally says by no, permission. Of no the problem. Right no after. problem. But but that's mean that Jesus in this moment is a creator, and right now there's many birds in the sky. They are flying, made by Jesus, and Jesus by breathing, he is doing the same act as Allah when he created Adam. Allah he breathed into Adam, which was a figure of mud, and then Adam became a human being who is life. Correct. But if he was God, why would he need the permission of God? Uh, why would he need okay, his own let, okay, hold on one by one. If he is God, why he need the permission of God? This is a good question. But if Jesus is not God, how God he share his ability of a creation with him? Because the second, if I say to you who is Allah, he will say to me he is the creator, correct? Was God, was was you who is the creator? If I if I ask you who is the creator, who is the creator? Please answer me. God. Okay, but now Jesus, he just created, and now he became a creator. So now wait, Jesus. Wait. Okay, answer me this: Do you believe God is Almighty? Sure, but not your God. So, wait, wait, just answer me. So you, you yeah. think my God, God can do anything, right? My God is Almighty, not your. Sounds good. Your God. So if your God right now wanted you to be able to breathe life into into your desk, would you be able to do it? Well, if you want, yeah. Why not? So if God wants something, it can happen, right? Sure, but not your God. So if wait, wait, so if in that instance mm. God allowed you to breathe life into the clay figure in front of you, are you God now? But but if if God I, he, just answer my question. Oh, yeah, let me let me, you, let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. If I am the one who created the life, that's mean I am God. But if God He just made me do a miracle in His name, that is a different story. 
as an example. So, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He was able to do it because of God. My friend, my friend. Is that not because that God, God is a creator, is the creator. So now if we have two creators, we have two God. So if God made me creator like him, even though he is the one who gave me a ability, I became a creator, I became God. So God, if he gave me permission or not, I don't want to change anything because now I became a creator. But I, if I do miracle, let us say, I, I pray, there's a guy, he's just dying in front of me. And I say, God, please, God, help us. God, help us, you know. And the guy, he was healed by God. That's it. That's God work. That's as, God answering your prayer. That's God. Right. Doing it. But, but as saying, you see, but as you see God here, but but as you see, here. but as you see, my friend, Jesus here, he breathed into the bird figure. But when I asked you, when I asked you if God is almighty, would he be able to let Jesus breathe life into that clay bird? No, your God cannot do that. I'm and, talking and about... I, Listen, my friend, can you show me one to prove that Allah can do any miracle anyway? If your God claim, your God here, the Quran claim that this is a permission of Allah, but there's a proof of it. I can say now I am the one who gave Jesus the permission. Anyone can can say, oh, Jesus, he did that because I give him permission. It's a lie. You're a prophet. He lived all his life. He have no, he have no miracles. And the Quran confirmed that. So how Allah he claimed that those are the miracle of Jesus if he himself cannot do anything why Allah did not give a miracle to Muhammad to do the same as Jesus anyone any one of them look at all, look how many the miracle that he gave Muhammad was his book was his word the word okay. of God. is that not a miracle okay let us see if this is true or not how the how the Quran is a miracle but the Quran says Allah says I never I never send a miracle where does it say Allah said I've never sent a miracle the written in front of you here we go Ma and wait, wait, what is this? chapter 17 verse number 59 nothing made us refrain from sending miracles except people be the former generation refused to believe in them so the Quran confirmed that Allah he refrained so how Allah he sent a miracle but he refrained how the Quran is a miracle if saying Quran itself is a miracle and he say I refrain that would be stupid because it's like saying uh, uh, my my ice cream is a miracle and I refrain from making ice cream but in the same time I'm making ice cream how he say how you say to me the Quran is a miracle but he say I refrain from sending miracles if the Quran is a miracle that's mean you are stupid you're a liar how you say you refrain from sending miracle if the Quran itself by saying the word we refrain you just made a miracle <laughs> we refrain from sending miracle but by saying we refrain, supposedly according to you, it's a miracle. So Allah is a stupid here. Give me one sec. I, I like my phone slow at loading. Hmm. I refrain from drinking tea. And by the way, guys, I'm drinking tea. That's madness. <clears throat> I think this Quran it says here is... we refrain from sending miracles mm -hmm. because the people before have denied them, right? Which means he sent miracles before. Right. Jesus came before Muhammad. Wonderful. So him allowing Jesus to breathe life into the bird was a miracle. Mm. But it came before he said we refrain, right? Mm. Because he was what six hundred years before. Thank you Muhammad, very much. Right? But I remember I am the one who asked you, Do Muhammad have miracle? You said the Quran. How he refrained from sending miracle if the Quran itself is a miracle. By saying we refrain from sending miracle, he is he making a miracle if the Quran is a miracle. That is a stupid statement. But when the surah was sent down, the Quran It doesn't matter. Down. He said we refrain. Isn't it the Quran itself is a miracle? You are the one who said to me the Quran is a miracle. If the Quran itself is a miracle, it's mean by saying even even if the Quran is not exist, even if there's two words by saying and we refrain from sending signs, that itself must be a miracle. How he say we refrain, we refrain from sending signs when he is making a miracle in the same moment? Sorry, now I realize that the Quran isn't a miracle because he didn't allow Muhammad to write it. The Quran was the God's word, so it's not a miracle. God doesn't do miracles; he does feats. He got what? He got, he does what? <laughs> he does feats like he shows his power like when god created us it but, wasn't but aren't you the one who said to me a second ago the quran is a miracle so now you you take it back it's not a and miracle. i told you it was a mistake yes I oh, okay thank you so the quran is not a miracle let me let me ask you do god make mistakes no he doesn't he's god okay i don't know what education if you don't mind can you tell me what is your education 
that God doesn't make mistakes. No, no. What is your education, my friend? My education? Yeah. What do you mean, my education? Like, I don't understand. Well, you have high school. You are a university. Yeah, I'm, I'm in university right now. All right. By what you learn from the university, does they tell you that women, they have a sperm? Uh, no. Okay. And if I show you the Quran saying that women have a sperm coming from their backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, what you will do? Say that again. The Quran says that Allah speaking about how he created us. He said that the man he created from gushing fluid, which is a sexual fluid, proceeding from between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. How Allah makes such a mistake? Where does it say that? In chapter 86. You can read all the verses if you want before, so you don't tell me I'm making things out of contact. <laughs> 86 what what I read you can read verse number one verse number two so you don't say I'm contact but the verse I'm reading from it's the verse number six uh, uh, five six seven five six seven hmm. and I can help you if you want we can show you any interpretation you wish to to, to read no problem just tell me which one you like and I will show you we have a good customer support here. It, it it doesn't say women. It just says he was created from a fluid ejected, emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. Okay, what does that mean? Explain to me. It doesn't say women. You are right. What is the what, what taraib mean in Arabic? Do you know? What does what? What is taraib? The word taraib. Taraib, uh, mm. dirt. Tara taraib is dirt. Mm. I'm learning something. No, Taraib is the location of the necklace of the woman in her chest. The location of the neck, like the the, the location uh, of the necklace. The necklace. When a woman she wore a necklace with your mom or my mom or your sister, she wear mm. a necklace. That location where the neck, the, the the whatever it says. Let us say she's wearing Quran. That location where the Quran is staying in the in between the two, like if you put your finger in your neck, the women they have a little bit different from us as men. That is called taraib in Arabic. So your Quran saying that women they have gashing sexual fluid coming from that location. I'm the what I'm reading, the, I'm on Quran.com. Hmm. From from Ayah five, I'll start. It says, "So let man observe from what he was created. Mm. He was created from a fluid ejected, emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. Mm. Indeed, Allah to return him to life is able." Mm. And okay, now quick question: What at the I told you, what is the I, I don't see the Like what what Ayah is that in? Seven. My friend, what's wrong with you? You just read it. We're emerging from the backbone and the ribs. Yeah. The back where, do you, where do you see taraib? Well, taraib is in the word in Arabic. This what it says in Arabic. The Arabic word is taraib. Okay, but backbone and ribs. Do you agree with that? The ribs. Yeah, the, this is the taraib. The taraib is the uh, is uh, the ribs is all the bones, but taraib is the location of the necklace. Okay, so if I ask you a quick question, mm. between your backbone and your ribs, mm. what is there? Is that not what your where your genitals lie? Wow, that's a very good thing. I look like my testicles are up in my chest. No, I'm telling you, if I, it didn't say exactly between them, right? It says between mm. them. Yeah, but my friend, I told you that the no, word. No, just answer me. Answer my friend, my friend, I'm them, answering right? you. I'm answering you. The word taraib so is if not. If your testicles, if your testicles, the taraib, the taraib is not the bones of the man. It is the chest of the women and location of the necklaces specifically. You are not listening. I can show you that. Here we go. Okay, can you show me that? In sure, the sure. Here we go. Here we go. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Read with me. Can you read? Uh, okay, wait. Let me open up the YouTube again. Okay, I, I opened it. Hmm. 
Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to close the chat. Mm. Issuing from between the loins of the man and the breast bones of the woman. Mm. What do you what, like? Is that are you are you translating that ayah? I'm not translating. This is your Muslim website, and this is Tafsir Ajalain. Yeah, this is the this is the interpretation of Ajalain. I can show you different interpretation if you want. Which one you like? Just name it. I will show you. I, I don't. I don't know different interpretations. So here we go. It says, I mean, or, or those are your scholars. They are saying that this gushing fluid is coming from between the backbone of the man and the breast of the woman. The backbone is where the sperm is coming. So your God do not know. You never heard of something called testicles. And women's sperm coming from the breast bones, but you agreed that women they have no gushing fluid, or sexual gushing fluid, it's to make a baby. That's stupid, and there's no way it's going to come from the bones of the women and the ribs. That's more stupid. So how your God is God? He is the one who created mankind. He is the one who gave Jesus the ability. But did he say something stupid like this? Okay, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. <clears throat> So in the surah, like, I'm going to read it back for you just so you can agree with me. Mm. It says, so let man observe from what he was created. Mm. He was created from a fluid ejected, mm. emerging from between the backbone and the ribs, right? Mm. So if it's emerging, so if after it's ejected, mm. after you ejaculate into a woman, where does your sperm emerge? Mm. Well, I don't know. I, I, I never have sex in my life. Okay, well, let I'm me tell so, you. I'm so young. After you ejaculate, it goes into the ovula, right? And then it goes into the woman's reproductive system. Mm -hmm. Where is that reproductive system located? Mm, that's a good idea. I mean, my friend, is that in the bones of the women? It says gushing fluid, and this gushing fluid is coming from where? It's coming out. No, no, no. It says he was created from fluid. Mm -hmm. Then it says ejaculated. Okay, so ejaculated. that fluid is ejaculated from where? Sorry, it says eject. It doesn't say from here, but it says the fluid was no, ejected. No, no, it says, it says, read the verse number seven. It says, issuing from between the backbone of the man and the breast of the woman. It says emerging from between yes. the backbone. Yes, okay, thank you, emerging. But there's two so creatures. After it, so, my but friend, it says my friend, ejected, it's then emerging emerged. out, it's emerging, it's emerging. Okay, now, emerging from the backbone of the man. Do you agree first? From that between. From my, between. Friend, my friend, between, because be, 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 there are two creatures, between the man and the women. That's what it says, between. As you see, it's a man and the women. So between what? The backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So now the, the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone of the man and the sperm of the women is coming from their ribs. It doesn't say the sperm of the woman. It says the sperm ejected emerges. Mm, the sperm of who? The sperm of the man. What about the women? So what the woman is about? The woman is the surrogate. So when the okay, so the, the sperm, sperm of the man. So according to you, the man he ejects his sperm, and then the sperm will go to her uh, uh, bones and the ribs of bones. No, it says between. It emerges between, which is my where friend the between the man and the women. Between the man and the women. So we have two creatures. That's why it says between. Between, it's, not between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the man himself. No, between the backbone of the man. And the ribs of the woman. Do you want me to change the interpretation for you? If this is not clear for you, do you want to see something else? Read with me carefully. Issued from between the lions of the man and the ribs of the women. It is issuing from there, not going there, issuing from. This is Tafsir ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. And this is the only scholar your prophet, he named him by name. He said, Allahumma ja'ali ibn Abbas hibr al ummah Allah wait, made. Wait, wait, what are the loins? Loins are what? Your testicles, right? My friend, no. The, 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 the Arabic it says solb. Solb is the backbone. This is the Muslim translation. The Arabic it says solb. Solb means hard, rock. This is the bone. So as you see, it's issuing from the man backbone and the ribs of the women it's issuing from there not going there issuing from from where from between between what the lions of the man as a translation he says but it says the backbone and the ribs of the women this is where it's issuing not where it's going so your god claim that women have a sperm which is very false 
coming from he the doesn't location. Say the woman's sperm. My friend is a gushing fluid, sexual gushing fluid. It literally says so. Okay, what is the gushing fluid? What Hold on. Created. What is the gushing fluid? With my respect to you, my friend, what is the gushing fluid which come from the breast of the women? And the gushing fluid of the man, they will meet together and they will make a baby. Give me the name of that gushing fluid coming from the chest of the women. It doesn't say from the chest, it says from between. No, it says the ribs of the women. Stop lying, it's in the front of you. It literally says emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. My friend, read it, read it in front of you. It's in the screen. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Read. Issuing from between the loins of a man, the breast bones of a woman. Mm. So it's issuing from where? Issuing from the backbone of the man and issuing from the ribs of the women. So there's two fluid, one a fluid of the man and one a fluid of the women. The fluid of the, the man. The loin, your loin isn't your backbone, it's the area between lost. your lower ribs. Get, no, no, don't don't call me again. I, you see, I don't talk to people who they are not honest. Don't waste is my that time. Not what the loin is? My, my, friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. You see, my, 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 my friend, nipples. my friend, let me tell you something. The major thing in any conversation is honesty. It's in the front so of you. Me I'm lying about search up it's in the front of you. Lying. It's in the front of you. You yeah, are lying. For sure, you are lying. It's in the front of you. There's no point of talking with somebody he is just trying to play games. I mean, it's a career. This is a very stupid mistake. So how Allah is the one who gave a permission to Jesus to bring people to life if he do not know how people have life?